Here we see the lesser spotted hungover mum. Highly irritable, slightly nauseated, and an incredibly regretful species. She seldom separates from her young, but for once seized a very rare opportunity to go out for an evening of fun, adult conversation about children, and the opportunity to wear clothes not contaminated with snot, beans, or traces of other people's urine. Surrounded by her fellow day-release prisoners, over-excitement, and I'm out of the house with a small handbag giddiness, combined with Sambuca and nine bottles of cheap wine, has unknowingly created the perfect sloshed storm. Having crawled home at 11 p.m., after boasting she was staying out all night, and having picked a fight with her front door. Hunting for food was a top priority. Four packs of pom bears, a heavily misjudged marmite crumpet, and a snog with her dog later, she was yet to face her biggest nemesis, the stairs. Too much dancing to Beyonce left her thinking she was sexy AF. Ow. I know you want me. Dun, 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 dun. Her mate, not too partial to the smell of fermented yeast, politely declined her mounting advances. At 6 a.m., the hungover mum immediately regrets her life choices, as she repeatedly regurgitates crump bears into a baby's top and tail bowl. At 6.30 a.m., two small people incoherently and continually scream something about Paw Patrol directly into her ear canal. Come on, Paw Patrol, play mama! Come on. Yeah. She fights every instinct in her body, telling her to whack those teeny, tiny, sleep-resistant faces with a pillow. Eventually up, her younger left to fend for themselves in the bleak wilderness of Cheerios and Weetabix, as maintaining a vertical position is one step too far for this overindulgent, alcohol-based mother. After chewing on a piece of toast for half an hour and reading her 87 unread WhatsApp messages from her fellow hanging mums, the hungover mum is now marginally presentable and ready for the worst fate that can be bestowed upon her species. Kids football. <laughs> Followed by a children's birthday party. <laughs> With only two hours before the glorious and sweet, sweet release of 7 pm, there's only one final hurdle to overcome homework. It's as painful as it is long. The hunger of mum's patient levels are beyond waning, and if she has to explain capital letters and full stops one more time, it's gonna go down. Once everyone is in bed, the hungover mum can finally collapse on the sofa and evaluate where the hell it all went so horribly wrong. After some contemplation, the conclusion is she's just too old and she's never drinking ever, ever again. Well, until next time. But definitely no Sambuca. Well, maybe just the one or two. But definitely not the whole bottle. Or bottles. Maybe.